we will learn how to animate the sun's position on a custom path with the help of the V-Ray timeline component in Grasshopper and then render the animation with V-Ray Next for Rhino. By default, Rhino comes with a location-based sun system for animation, but with V-Ray Next for Grasshopper and the new V-Ray timeline component, you can now easily set up a custom path for the sun and animate it. To start, let's examine the definition we have set up here in advance by zooming in on the custom sun path group. As you can see, we have a custom rotated arc, which will play the role of the sun path. There are also a set of number sliders, which you can play with if you wish to experiment with the lighting scenarios in this lesson. For now though, we will leave them at their default settings. Now, you'll see that we have connected the rotated arc to a divide component, with the frames count slider, representing the total number of frames, acting as the count of the arc segments. This is used to create the position points of our sun. On the right, you will also see the list item component, which is used to select each point from the arc. There is also a simple sphere component named Sun Sphere at the location of each extracted point from the list for a better preview of the current sun position. Next, we can click and drag to move the timeline slider to a custom frame. Or, we can just right click and select play to see a quick preview of the entire sun movement animation. All right. There are a few things that need to be done before exporting the custom Grasshopper Sun animation into our Rhino project for rendering. First, let's increase the number of frames to 360. This will create more position points, making the animation smoother. Next, let's also make sure that we have the animated position point connected to the Sun position input of the Sun Rig. Lastly, we also need to connect the timeline output to the V-Ray Render Components timeline input. Otherwise, V-Ray for Grasshopper will not know that you want to render an animation. Finally, let's go to the Render group of the V-Ray tab in Grasshopper and create a V-Ray Render and Project component. Then, connect it to the V-Ray Render node so that V-Ray transfers the sun and camera positions from V-Ray for Grasshopper to the native Rhino sun and camera in the Rhino project. Next, simply right-click on the Render and Project component and let's select the Export Sun Animation option. Now, you'll see a quick preview of the animation in the viewport. Back in Rhino, we simply need to select our desired camera view. In this case, I will select the Render Camera Sun Animation view. Then, let's open the Asset Editor and make sure we are in production mode by switching off the interactive toggle. Next, let's go to the Render Output dropdown and toggle on the Save Image option and select a path and a file type for saving the animation sequence. In our case, I will choose the JPEG file extension. Note that this is a crucial step because if we don't choose a location for our animation, the rendered frames will not be saved anywhere, which would mean we have to render them again. And of course, let's head to the animation drop down menu and turn it on to enable animation rendering. In this case, since I plan to render the entire animation, we could leave the time segment as it is. However, I'm going to switch it to frame range mode and then click on the icon that looks like a clock for Get Animation Range to automatically pick the animation that we exported from Grasshopper. This is a handy way to double check the number of frames that we set up to render in Grasshopper, as well as gives us the option to specify a custom range for the animation. Now, double check the start frame is 0 and the end frame is 359, so that we're rendering the entire animation. Another very important step before we start rendering is making sure that we have the environment sky map loaded into the environment background slot. Otherwise, the sun animation won't render correctly. Now when you're ready with your settings, go ahead and click the render button to begin rendering the animation. All right, now that you've seen how to set up an animation and get a render started, I'm going to stop the render and pull up what the final rendered animation looks like so you can see the end result. Okay. Now you've seen how in V-Ray Next, you can use the new timeline component to animate the sun's position on a custom path and then render the animation with V-Ray Next for Rhino.